I just want to take a quick look at the new Flickr that Yahoo announced just yesterday. And I'm blown away by the redesign. It's very uh, similar to a lot of what we're seeing with other photo sites. And even with other social networks like Google Plus introducing the multi-column view. And this has just gone to this more sort of tiled interface as you're seeing here. And I first sort of experienced this sort of uh, layout with 500 pics. Although it's a little bit different with 500 pics, be it that all of the thumbnails are square and these ones seem to sort of dynamically adjust to the orientation of your photo. So let me just run you through the interface. This is my main sort of Geekanoids homepage. This is my photo stream. So this displays all of the photos. So if I scroll through, it just tiles all of the photos from all of the sets that I have on Flickr. Now we've also got menus up at the top here. So we've got the U menu, top left, with photo stream sets, map, favorites, galleries, recent activity, and an organized function. Then we've got the contacts menu. Then we've got the communities menu. Then we've got the explore menu, and then the upload uh, menu at the top here, which allows you to upload new photos to your photo stream. And then top right, just where my uh, cursor is now, this is where we can actually search and then if I just hover over my uh, avatar on the top, very top right, you can see here I've got seven mails to read. But the biggest difference here, and this is a massive, massive change with Flickr, is that you're no longer restricted to showing the latest 200 photos on a free account. And that your storage has increased to a massive one terabyte of storage. That is absolutely amazing, one terabyte of storage. You can add more space and you can also upgrade your account so it doesn't show adverts. Now let's just come off of that menu there. So we're in photo stream as I said, so let's click on a photo. Here's one that I took here. So let's just click on this photo and it shows it full screen. And we can skip left and right using these arrows. So perhaps I can go back one or I can go forwards one. And then we can also magnify as well to go into a larger view. But then we've also got here favorites, we've got comments, we've got a share feature, which if I click on, I can grab the embed code if I wanted to embed this on another website. We can also, oh, I accidentally clicked, let's go back one. We can also go up to like a full screen and view it in a light box. And then we've also got this menu here, which allows us sort of some editing features uh, for editing the title, tags, etc., adding tags to a person, viewing as a slideshow. And then if we scroll down, let me just get rid of that menu. If we scroll down, we've got comments underneath the photo on the left-hand side here. So here's some really cool comments I received from viewers. And then we've got details about the photo here as well as tags, etc. Uh, tags on the bottom right. And then photo stream just here. And if we want to go right back to our photo stream, we can click out and it will take us back to the main photo stream tiled homepage. So everything's set really nicely. Then we've got sets as well. And if we click on sets, this takes us to the sets that I've put on to Flickr for organizing which camera I took the particular photos with. And we can click into any of these. So let's perhaps go into the Nikon Corp XS 5200. And it then displays it very similar to our initial uh, photo stream page, but just for this set. So we've got a tiled interface of just photos taken with the Corp XS 5200. So really beautifully laid out. We've also, if we go back to view all sets, you'll see the menus here. We can click across to favorites as well, or we can go back to photo stream. Let's go back to photo stream. And then when we go back to photo stream, we've got one more menu that appears here, which is just the edit menu. We've also got slideshow sharing features and a pop-up menu on this right-hand panel here. It's an absolutely fantastic upgrade. I think the highlights for me are the fact that we've got one terabyte of storage, We've got no restriction on the amount of photos a free account can store unless you hit that one terabyte limit. And also the resolution has got no limits as well. So full resolution uploads. This is a fantastic update by Flickr. Long time coming this one was. And I'll just give them a big thumbs up for finally taking this into the sort of modern day with a fresh new design and freeing up the way that we can use Flickr. So that's it for my look at the new Flickr for 2013. Please do hit like on this video. I'll see you all in the next one.